Okay, what's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be doing my electric steering pump setup. I put in a GSR rack and pinion. There was nothing wrong with my EG one. It was per perfectly fine. Um, but I just prefer the GSR since it's more of a simple look and the turn ratio is just a bit better than the power um, EG one. But if you do go with a power, like an Integra one, any power Integra one, you're also gonna need the joint from the rack pinion to your steering wheel column. Um, the EG one, power one, will not fit. I tried it, does not work. So just a thought of mine. So far, I'm gonna give you guys a little update. Um, it's coming along pretty good. I don't know if how long I'm gonna edit this video, but I'm not trying to make it super long or super short because some people wanted me to make a kind of detailed um, video, I guess you could say. But the, 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 the thing that's making noise is this chicken right here. But um, if I don't have the part number for you guys, I will provide it with a photo of what I used. And that's how we're going to go with. So today, um, <clears throat> we'll be installing this pump, which is a S90 Volvo steering pump, electric steering pump to be exact. Um, you're going to need PTFE hose because this pump pumps out really, really high PSI. Uh, the PSI rating, I believe, is 1100 to 1200. So anything above that, you're good. You're also going to be needing, um, once you could get these from the junkyard, the best thing to do is also buy the bracket with it and the connections. So it makes it will make your life so much easier, to be honest. Um, I will be showing you guys where I'll be mounting it. And then this is the hose I'll be running. And then also for the return, you could just use a rubber 3 8 hose connecting to the bottom piece to, for the return. Or you can make a really nice return. Uh, I'm going to go with a braided one. But yeah, for the, the return hose, you don't need to make anything special. You could just run a 3 8 hose and then just go straight to the return on the pump itself. And then, but for the high pressure side, you do need a really uh, high pressure um, fittings, mainly hoses, amazing, mainly hose. Um, well, let's go ahead and start the process. All right, guys. So I made my decision of where I want to put the electro pump. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, I did go to Home Depot to grab a like a tube, metal tube, so I could stick. Like I would just cut it and I, I could stick like a 12 mil through and bolt stuff up. Um, I also went to grab a 1.8 thick uh, material, flat bar, so I could make my bracket. It's not gonna be the prettiest wells, but I'm pretty sure it'll hold up. And um, we'll see what I come up with, to be honest, because the filler hole is kind of like in the way. I might cut that off and then plastic welded to the other side, pointing to the hole. So that might be just the plan on this. And then shutting off, covering that hole up with some JB weld or something. I'm pretty sure it'll hold. Um, I did test the bumper on here and it fits perfectly. So let's go ahead and start doing some measurement. I'm gonna have to cut this bracket off. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Um, but I plan on making a bracket from here to the top holes up there and then drilling maybe another, another hole or two hole and putting an insert, uh, rivet in there so I could bolt it up. Um, but for right now, I kind of like the way how it is. We might have problem with the inlet and outlet, but I forgot that I am going with a 90 degree, um, Enter. So I think we might be okay with this. 
but the only problem right now is gonna be the filler. But I'm uh, I think I'm just gonna chop it off and put it onto this side and uh, plastic weld it. I mean that's that's the plan I guess. But just look how clean the engine bay is, bro. Man, like I tell everybody, bro, always practice, 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 and you will go as far as you can. I'm not the best. I'm not even good, but this is what I did, and I love the outcome of it. And that's how everybody should be. So this is what I came up with so far. Um, I did raise it up by like an inch. Um, maybe like an inch forward as well. I did cut the nipple that belongs on top of this reservoir. And then I'm just gonna drill a hole on the other side and I'm just gonna patch it in there to the highest spot, maybe with something like this, but on the other side, of course. And then just uh, go ahead and um, plastic weld it back together and then I'll put some JB weld over it. I think that's the plan. I think that will work out pretty good. Um, I have my 90 going this way, so I'll go that way. And then maybe back inside, probably put some grommets on this so it doesn't cut. Or if anything, I might have to buy another hose that goes all like around my raised support and back onto that side. I kind of don't want to do that, but that might that might be the choice and maybe put like another 90 on that side or maybe like a 40 a 45 degree and then same thing with the return i might do the same thing and go that way i do plan on getting a a power steering cooler so i'll probably put it on the bottom where that one will connect to the power um cooler power steering cooler and then it goes back on this side and goes in back to the um Rack and pinion. Well, it doesn't go back. It sh it shoots. It shoots from there, come this way to the oil cooler, zigzagging so it could be cool, and go back into the pump. Um, and then I will have, I'll make like a little custom bracket from here, and maybe here to hold um, the OEM reservoir. And then I'll be running the stock air box, the stock Integra air box, and I'll make a bracket also. Um, from here and stick and extending out so that it'll hold the air box pretty well. So that's the plan. Um, we'll see how far it goes. I plan on trying to do that tonight and try to get it done because tomorrow's my last day off. So I want to be, um, you know, active. So we'll see. So right now, this is the length I want. I can cut a little bit longer, just like that. So let's go ahead and grind that off. I got my little pipe made. It might not be straight. Like this side's a little bit off, but I'm gonna make sure the hole is nice and round. And that should be good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get the thing that I just cut off 
welded to here. So I'm gonna get a 12 mil nut. Put it through here, bolt it in here. Make sure it's like kind of centered, All right? And I'm gonna go ahead and just weld it around here. So. So I'll put a bolt through here. Hopefully uh, it doesn't burn through. Okay, so I got some booger wheels put on. Um, honestly, it just needed some tack weld, but I just put it on. This is my first time actually using this machine. Um, I had a, a regular titanium flux core, and then I returned that and exchanged for this one because I wanted to do some nice MIG welding uh, I'm just waiting to buy a tank and then some 10 pound spool. So yeah, it's my first time using this. Um, still gotta learn the machine, but we'll get there one day. Okay, so as you can see, I just, uh, what are those like shims or whatever you guys wanna call it? Um, they are perfect. They are literally perfect. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a drill through here and drill through it on both um both of these tubes and also down here um i'm going to ahead and make a bolt right here and that should be golden i'm liking how this is going uh, i'm sorry if this is like a lot of detailed but i know some of you guys will appreciate it and some of you guys are just gonna skip through it and watch it like 10 minutes of i mean two no like 30 seconds of this video but it is what it is so I'm going ahead and drill those holes right now and I'm gonna put some insert bolts in there and then we'll go from there. Choice that I'm going with is a M10. Uh, it's pretty much a 12 mil uh, bolt. So I'm going ahead and just drill it in and insert this in and um, we'll call it a day. So I just put some holes through there. I just put a bolt up there so that it could hold in place, but Yep, let's see if this will go through. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. So now that I know my mounting point, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off and then I'm gonna put some insert bolts in there and then I'll let you guys know. So this is the insert bolt. So it's not gonna fit. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna step drill it so it could fit this insert and then we're gonna go ahead and uh bolt it in there now the inserts will be snug oh this one needs to be a little bigger just like that. So this is a rev, rev nut tool. This is the brand I'm using. It doesn't matter what brand you use. I just bought this off eBay. I think it's like 30 bucks. And you just put your rev nut on top and then you squeeze and that's it. This is like a life changer to make everything looks pretty clean if you're trying to put like a new, new bolt or something. But yeah, this is uh, really, really useful. Hey guys, it's looking good looking good so far so there's as you can see there's no more jack holding its support it's still a little wobbly right so we need to fix the wobbliness this would just do fine to be honest but i'd rather take the sloppiness around um i plan on putting like a bracket from right here to right here just take this bolt off um so i'll just go bolt it from right here to right here push it just just to make it a little longer so they'll have some tension to be pushed out just a little bit and from there i think um i think we have it going and that's how um i mount it once everything is mounted i'll go ahead and paint this uh, a little better but it's looking good so far um i did pretty good on that 
Oops. Okay, so next, um, we're gonna make a bracket. Um, I'm gonna drill like maybe two holes right here because I want this to be like a bolt-on thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, actually, no, actually, I'm just gonna weld it on here. And then I have uh, these two holes. I'm gonna make this hole and this hole uh, to be my mounting bracket. Maybe three holes, maybe. And I'll drill a hole for this because this is like a drain hole, I think. I think that's what it is. So I already cut up some sheet metal. I mean, some um, half inch, no, it's not half inch, it's one eighth uh, thick material. Uh, like I said, I'm still new to all this welding kind of stuff. I'm not really that good. This is like my first or second time actually weld, pretend welding, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have it like this. It's gonna be bolts onto like this. And then I go straight to that um, black bracket right here. Wood all together. And then I think from there it'll be solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start welding some pieces together. So the welder wants me to do 217 wire uh, bolts, wire feed, no, bolts. And then, um, so this is a one eight inch, one eighth thick material. Sorry guys, this is all I have. I don't have a metal table, so this is what I'm using. Y'all can make fun of me, but this is all I have for now. Um, I'm gonna tack weld some stuff real quick, and then we'll start um, welding. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Okay, so this is what I did. Um, the welds are not too bad for like, legitly a beginner. Like, I mean, it looks ugly, but hey, it's decent, okay? Don't make fun of me, no, I'm just kidding. So it's gonna be looking like this. Bolts are on the bottom down here. And then I'm just gonna have it pushed out just a little bit so it can have some some tightness to this and then I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call this this is it this yeah I'm not gonna call it anything but um I might make another bracket that goes straight to over there and bolt it up so that no nah, I think it'll be it'll be okay once this is bolted up to be honest so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all like cleaned up so that I could start welding this up together and then um, start painting everything. And thank you, Larry, for this uh, welding clamp or the pliers. Just doing a couple of welds and um, it's looking a lot better. All right, guys, I finally almost finished. Almost, it's like 90, 90% finished because I still gotta paint it and whatnot, right? But this is how um, 
I did my bracket for the Volvo S90. I think it's like S90 or uh, S70, C70, or V, whatever. I'll, I'll put down a list of what comes in these um, Volvo steering pump. Anyways, well guys, this is the final, uh, well not final, I still got painted, but um, it's solid. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, you still have a little jiggle to it, but that's honestly, that's not that's not bad. Um, I know, I know if I put like another bracket uh, from like right here to up there, it'll be stupid solid. But this is honestly, this is more than enough better. So now I'm gonna start doing my lines. Um, I think I'm gonna get like a like a U shape. Yeah, like a U shape. Um, fitting so that it could be a lot better and number guys you have to get like at least like something over at least i say at least 1500 psi something over 100 psi 115 no yeah 1500 psi um uh, this i got this from my local uh hot rod shop uh this is a ptfe um they said that they use it for their um, their power steering so i mean i did this on the ek and it's it's good so far all you gotta do is just slice a little bit of the black part off and then you're gonna put this in there's like a brass in there so it kind of like squishes um the nylon in there and the steel braided together so um that's a that's a good investment but i'm proud of this so far, um, I do plan on running a oil cooler, I mean, power steering cooler. So this is gonna be rotted going to the front. And then I, I, I already cut off the nipple that was up here. I'm gonna go ahead and plastic weld like a piece up there. Um, and then we'll, we'll figure out something of putting a, the nipple back onto the other side. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and just drill into the plastic and then just plastic weld all over it and then I'll JB weld um, covering anything that might didn't cover. So I might have to take off this, um, that ring. I don't know where I could buy that ring from, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do some research because once I take off that ring, it's kind of like useless to put it back on because it's not gonna be super tight like how it used to be. Um, or I could just find a really big um, clamp. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy me making this bracket. And then I'm gonna start routing my lines and whatnot. But hopefully it's not too boring. Um, I'm trying to make it like as detailed as I can. Lately, I haven't been making a lot of videos, so enjoy this.